if s square minus x y minus six y square is equal to zero, s over y is equal to what? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to look at how to find the value of x over y from this given equation. We have if s square minus s y minus six y square is equal to zero, then what is the value of x over y? But before I proceed, please don't forget to like, share comment and subscribe solution we have s square minus s y minus six y square is equal to zero this is quadratic equation this implies that we have s square plus 2xy minus 3xy minus 6y square equal to 0. That is, you, you look at the two numbers such that when you multiply the sum, we give you x or sy, and then the product will give you minus 6. Then if you have... 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. Then, if you have minus 2 times minus 3, you are going to get plus 6. Then, but if you have plus 2 times minus 3, you are going to get minus 6. Then, plus 2 minus 3 is going to give you minus 1. And the coefficient of S here is what minus one and y here the coefficient of the constant here is what minus six so that is why if you express this we have s square plus two xy minus three xy minus six y square is equal to zero then this imply that we have x into s plus 2y minus 3y into x plus 2y equal to 0. Then by factorization, we factorize that. This implies that we have x minus 3y equal to 0 or we have s plus 2y here and s plus 2y here. We have x plus 2y equal to 0. That is, you can, if you open the bracket, you are going to get our s square plus 2sy minus 3sy minus 6y square. Let's try it. We have s times s is going to be s square. Then s times 2y is going to be. 2xy then minus 3y times x is going to give you minus 3xy then minus 3y times 2y is going to give you minus 6y square now from this we have this imply that x minus 3y equal to 0 then s is equal to 3y Divide both sides by what? Y. This implies that we have x over y is equal to 3y over y. Then this y will cancel this y. x over y will be equal to 3. That is one of the answer. Then let's look at it from x plus 2y is equal to 0. This implies that we have x plus 2y is equal to 0. Therefore, s is equal to minus 2y. That is, if this plus 2 cross it does equal sign, it will become minus 2y. Then this implies that we have x, let's divide both sides by y over y equal to minus 2y over y.
x over y is equal to minus 2y over y. This is why we cancel this. Then this implies that x over y will be equal to minus 2. That is the second value of x. Then we also have other method of solving this equation. We have x squared minus sy minus 6y squared is equal to 0. So let's try other method. We have x squared minus xy minus 6y squared equal to 0. Then what do we do first? Let's call this step, step 2. This implies that so let's divide both sides by let's divide all through let's divide the equation at the left hand side. Let's divide all through by y square. Let's divide all through by y square. We have x square over y square minus xy over y square minus six y square over y square equal to zero then let's see this y square will cancel this y square then y here one and y here remain y so this implies that we have s square over y square minus x over y minus c is equal to zero this imply that we have s over y all square minus x over y minus c is equal to zero then this implies that we have x over y let's factor it all square minus plus 2 x over y minus 3 x over y minus 6 equal to 0. Then this implies that we have x over y into x over y plus 2 minus 3 into x over y plus 2 equal to 0. This implies that we have s over y minus 3 here, then we have s over y plus 2 and s over y plus 2 here. This implies that we have x over y minus 3 equal to 0 or x over y plus 2 equal to 0 then from x over y minus 3 equal to 0 this implies that we have x over y minus 3 equal to 0 then this implies that we have x over y if this minus 3 equal to the other side become plus 3 that is one of the value of x over y then or Let's check this. X over Y plus 2 equal to 0. Then if plus 2 equal to the other side, we have X over Y is equal to minus 2. This is our second value of X over Y. Therefore, the corresponding value of X over Y, huh? we have X over Y equal to minus 2 comma silly that is value of x over y if you've enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you